Welcome to my channel folks. Today I am starting a new webinar series on serverless architectures. In this series, I am going to show you how you can build your own microservice using serverless architectures in AWS Cloud. Along the way, we are going to learn a lot of new services like API Gateway Lambda functions that is going to enhance your career and build better apps. Before doing all that, what exactly serverless means? Let us spend a couple of minutes on understanding what it means. When somebody says serverless, what it exactly says it is, it is an application code or some amount of custom code that is going to run on ephemeral containers or temporary execution environments, which also means that there are no servers to provision and there are no servers to manage. And another important characteristic of serverless is the function or the service that you're executing should scale along with your usage, whether it is one user going ahead and consuming your microservice or it is 100 users or 1000 users, the service provider should scale it along with your usage. And it also means that since there are no servers to provision or manage, you are not going to pay for any idle capacity and you, you are going to pay only when your function is executing not when your function is just residing there and staying idle. Finally, the availability and the fault tolerance for your service has to be built in. And in this case, Amazon takes care of the availability for you by having multiple availability zones. And also the fault tolerance is built in by having multiple execution environments in the same region. So this way, Amazon ensures you have very good availability and fault tolerance for your serverless applications. So what are we going to do? Once again, as a reminder, we are going to build a simple microservice with serverless technologies. Along the way, you will be learning some of these AWS services like Lambda functions, API gateway. We are going to use S3 for our storage and we will be using IAM roles for setting up the permissions. And there are other services which are included that like cloud formation, and we are also going to touch upon a little bit of coding here with Python because the microservice will have to be written some languages. And in this case, I'm using Python as the language of my choice. Stay tuned for my next video where I'm going to show you what exactly is AWS Lambda and how we are going to set up our Lambda functions. Stay tuned.